Hi, you guys. Thank you for coming to your very chill class today. Um, this one is inspired, and I'm kind of doing it for my dad, who needs a little bit of help for shoulders and his back. So if you also need help for stretch work and just light exercises for shoulders, back, hips, um, this will be for you. So you don't need to have a resistance band or anything, um, but if you do have a towel or something that you can grab to just help for some pull, go ahead, get like a, a bath towel, anything's fine. A washcloth is a little too small, but um, resistance band optional is a medium weight, or if you have a towel, go ahead, grab it, and then we're going to start standing how we always do. Just open up the hips a little bit past your, um, just a little bit past your hip distance, so you're not pulled all the way in, open, open. And then shake out your arms. Go ahead, shake out anything. Maybe there's tension, like up in here, up in here. I want you to let it go. Just shake out arms, hands, making the little feet pedal here. And then we're going to bend the knees. So soften your knees. We're not walking the legs out. Bring the arms overhead, reach, stretch the sky, and then exhale. Pull the arms, shoulders down, shake it out, shake it out. And when you're doing this, when you guys pull up here, try not to go up to the neck. Just think of bending the knees. So just two more. Reach, length up so you're not up here. Open. Pull back down, shake it out, shake it out. One more time, bending those knees, reach up, reach up. And then exhale, shake it out, shake it out. And then shoulder roll. So all we're doing for this one, maybe we can do that far back. You're just pulling the shoulders up and then bringing it back down. And we're just gonna be going for about 10 more seconds. So just trying to think about that pull and then exaggerate, release it down. If it feels good for you to actually shake, like shake up arms as well, do that. If it feels good just to keep the arms kind of at your hips and sides, do that. But in three, we're going the other way. In two, and one. Go ahead. Other way with the shoulder rolls. And the entire time you are keeping your knees a little bit soft. And you kind of can't see my legs as well. But try to avoid the lockout, those legs. So you're not pulling back. You're keeping everything limber, loose. Just opening up and then dropping it back down. Inhale, exhale. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just three more of those pulls. Last two. You're doing awesome. Last one. Let it go. And then from here, we're going to go ahead with your feet. Open them a little bit wider. Take the arms out wide to your side. So your arms are extending and lengthening. And then just rotate and twist your torso. These don't have to be huge, but just getting that range of motion and mobility through the spine as you rotate left side, bringing it back to your center, and then right side. And also, while you're in these ones, if you guys can try to um, either soften your hands so you're not up here, you can even soften the elbows. And so this twist movement, just thinking your spine, working in that little twist right, twist left. So just go ahead, do two more of these puppies. Um, just feel that rotation, getting through the hips, all this stuff's connected. So if your low back is like still oop, don't go as far. And then after that last one, go ahead, drop it down into your forward fold stretch. So for these ones, you can have the feet wide, you can also have the feet hip distance, but thinking about your back and your spine. So as you're rounding down, let the shoulders and hands drop you first. Then as you go vertebra by vertebra, the head's gonna follow suit. Keep the knees a little bit soft and then just slowly let your chin come to chest. So once you're in this forward fold, gently pull head in, neck, Towards the chest, five more counts here. If it feels good just to let your head dangle, you can shake out. Do that. But we're going to round it up in two and one. So just slowly think vertebra, vertebra. Head's going to come up. Those arms also go ahead and reach the arms up overhead. Stretch the arms all the way up and then shake it out, shake it out. And then just go ahead, take it back down for one more like that. So let everything slowly peel down. Vertebra by vertebra, arms drop down, forward folding, letting the hips open up, the low back. Maybe this next one you can go a little bit lower. Maybe you can't, that's also okay. Just give yourself some credit for whatever you're able to do here and now. And breathe. In through the nose, out of the mouth, puff up the upper back. Draw the head and chin to your chest. Close your eyes even. This is for five, four, three, two. And one, and then round it up. Same way we went down, vertebra by vertebra. And then all the way up. Once you're lifted, arms reach up, reach up. Circle the arms back. Push up onto your upper, think upper butt, lower back. Pop the hips out. Feel the core stretch out. Let the head drop down. Everything in the abs stretch. And then go ahead, shake it out. Shake it out again. <sighs> From here, this is where we're going to grab either the towel 
or the resistance band. So again, it's your call. If you guys have the towel, just kind of grab on so you're pulling it apart. If you guys have the band, you can either literally do what I just said is pull it apart or slide your hands through it so you've got a little pressure to open up here. We're going to then open the feet up past your hip distance and it's a little bit wider. Lengthen the arms up overhead so you guys are pulling on the towel. Once you're reaching lifting, either pulling apart or pushing against it, take a side bend over to one side and then just gently pulse over that side. So they're pulling the towel apart. We're trying to strengthen up from those traps and just extending out the shoulders or feeling that stretch away. So you're pushing lightly against that band and then bring it back up to your center. Lower the arms down, shake out the hands, maybe take a little second to shake out the fingers and then we'll go back up overhead either pulling against that towel for some support or pushing against the band or you don't have to do either. You can just have your hands regular, regular stretching, that's fine. And then other side bend and just gentle press over. So just getting in some more flexibility in through the hips and through the side body. And there's only eight more seconds. Just bring it and find that side bend. This is for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back into your center. Let the arms drop out, shake it out, shake it out. And from here, band or towel, pull behind you. So for this one, where you guys grab it, you're pulling against it for either of them. Arms are going to extend out back. So when we're going into this one, plug the feet down, soften the knees, arms stretch back, and then slowly forward fold, but allow those arms to lift up and back. And this is one, if you're really tight in through the arms and shoulders, and it's like too much to pull against the band or the towel, ditch it, just let yourself do what you can with the arms pulling back from the shoulders and the head goes down. And then let the head really drop, because this is one, because I can't see a lot of times your head's still looking up, drop the chin and chest, let the arms pull back. Last five seconds, and this one doesn't feel good, but it's good for you. Last four, three, two, and one. Slowly lift it on up, and then just take the arm slightly left and slightly right. So from the front, you're just going a little bit here, a little bit. So just a little side to side for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead. Ditch the band, ditch the towel, shake out the arms, shake out the hands, open the feet wider past that hip distance. Pull your right arm across your chest, so feeling that extension. Starting off with your hand closer to your elbow, closer to the tricep on that, and then turn your head gently over that arm. So you're looking over that shoulder. Take an inhale, take an exhale, come back to your center. Let that arm pull back. You can even do both arms, pull back, that's fine. And then we're gonna same right arm one more time, grabbing this time closer to where your wrist is. So pulling across your body and just double check your out here with it, drop it down, pull it across, then turn that head over for three, two, one, come back in center, yay. And then shake out the arms, shake out hands, same thing, other arms. So go ahead, pull your left arm across and just try to think, hips are still facing center. I know it sounds weird, but you're not twisting the side, you're keeping it center as you extend and reach over um, to get the best that you can to pull back from that shoulder. And then once you're ready, you're able to turn the head, look over that left shoulder. Take an inhale, take an exhale, five more counts. You an awesome, four, three, two, and one, bring it back in. You can pull that arm back, or maybe, I always like to do both arms, but it just feels weird to do one arm, but your call. Every, everybody's different, every day's different. Take this time to stretch closer to where your wrist is. So extend across the body, then you're feeling good. Take that head over that arm on that shoulder. Just three more counts. Last two, last one, bring it back in. Shake out the arms, good job. You can do a little pullover and cross, shake out the fingers, the hands, and we'll finish bringing the arms up overhead one more time. So soften those knees, big bend, reach up to the stars, and then exhale, <sighs> shake it out, let it go, let it go. So there you go. Those are some stretchy good stuff for shoulders, low back. Um, you can repeat all of that another time through, but if your dad also um, messed up his back trying to paint, <laughs> send him this. Uh, so I'm sending this to my dad now. All right, have a good night, you guys, and thank you.